Hi, my name is Las Lover. Welcome to my channel Coaching. Today I would like to start a brand new series, the React Shorts. I will show you some sort quick tutorial about uh, React techniques. Today it's the first one and I would like to show you that how you can use the RTK queries from Redux Toolkit along with Axios. So we will build an Axios service and we will, we will combine it with uh, RTK queries from the Redux Toolkit. We will create an API based on the create API uh, uh, function from the Redux Toolkit and uh, we will generate a reuser automatically and use it inside our applications. Um, so we will use uh, Redux as a state management tool. Uh, you can find the uh, uh, final project on codesandbox.io. So here you can see the project and we will go together uh, through it and I will explain that how it's built. So first, what is the RTK queries? RTK query, you can find the overview about it here. The RTK query is a powerful data fetching and catch, uh, caching tool and it's eliminating the need to handwrite data fetching and ca uh, caching logic yourself. So it's uh, provided by the Redux Toolkit package and here you can read all the detailed information about it, that uh, how, how you can uh, install it, how you can use it and what's it, what is it all about. So here you can find basic usage. We will use a very similar uh, um, solution inside our demo project, how you can configure your store, so how you can uh, uh, provide your reducer, for example, for the store. And on this page, uh, you can find that uh, how you can use the RTK queries. You can find the most common use case for RTK queries here. And on the third, that I also uh, injected here, these three uh, URLs, you can find on the third that uh, how, how you can customizing the RTK queries. So how you can use the base query and how, how you can override this functionality to fit your uh, requirements or needs. So the first thing uh, is that uh, we should create an Axios uh, instance. So our dependencies you can see on the left side here. Uh, so I installed the Axios, uh, the Redux toolkit and that's all that I additionally added. Uh, to this React project uh, about the basic uh, dependencies. And so the first thing that we are create, uh, we are creating a new instance of Axios here. So I set up the base URL. We will fetch some jokes from the Chuck Norris <laughs> IO uh, API. So I set base URL here uh, to this one. Uh, for the next steps, I declares, declare the namespace API and uh, I export the base response type inside of it and also the test response. So if you check the Chuck Norris uh, uh, endpoint, you will see that you will find value, the joke in value property. So I declare this test response here and also the base response you can uh, create it more detail in more detail, but now I just set the HTTP status and the created at. So the next step, so we have the Axios instance here and we export it. And the next step is to, we, we are creating a custom base query, which is using Axios. So we will use this Axios instance insta in, inside of uh, RTK base query. So in the base query, I define some uh, interface here, which is used later and also a little function get request config where I decide that if the args uh, type is string, then I return URL args and instead of, uh, instead I ret return the args itself. And here is the main thing, here is the, 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 
the most important thing here. So the Axios base query that we are defining here, we return an async function and inside of it we are using our Axios. So we wait for the request and if we get the data then we transform it and return it uh, at the end. Also we have a, we have a try catch block here so in the catch we try to return the error in the format that we we need. Also here you can inject some uh, loading uh, indicator functionality for example before the, the request you can show your loading uh, indicator and after the request you can hide it if you want for example or you can count so if you run multiple uh, requests in the same time you can uh, run a counter and uh, you can increment this counter when when your request starting and uh, after this the one of the requests uh, finishing then you can uh, 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 reduce it and and after it it's it's zero you can hide your uh, loading indicator for example okay the next thing so we have uh, we have the axios base query now so we can use it in rtk queries uh, under the the, the api de declaration so the next thing is to define our service <coughs> so i have the services that ts here and here i am using the create api from the react toolkit query react so you can here see the the create api import and we are using it here we define our reducer path it will be api and what is the base query so we have the base query and we are using it uh, we are using our own access base query we are that we are created before in in our previous file so inside of it we have a transform uh, transform response you can write a trans former here if you want to transform your data but it's now uh, return the response that it gets so it's just a tutorial you know so okay and under the endpoints you can define your endpoints so we have a get joke we would like to uh, request uh, jokes so we have a get uh, joke it will be transformed to a get request and we are using builder here so builder is uh, could be used to define your queries mutations and other things to build up them you can get the, uh, get this builder in the argument of endpoints so we can use it here and we would like to get data here so we are using the query if you would like to uh, create a post request or patch you can use mutations uh, you can read uh, the manual of uh, RTK queries to do that. Okay, what will be the type of the response? It's the test response that we created before. So, you know, we, uh, we need only the value now. So the joke will be in this value variable. And uh, here is the query. Um, so the endpoint is slash joke slash random. You can read the Chuck Norris API and you can see there that uh, you can get uh, random jokes with this path. So this path will be injected after uh, after our base uh, URL that is defined here. So the final path, the final URL will be this one and uh, the path will be uh, added under, uh, after, at, after the base URL okay oh sorry yeah so back to the services we have an endpoint and this is the tricky trickiest thing here that this uh, our uh, redux toolkit will generate you automatically this uh, hook and you will be able to use this hook inside your react component so this use get joke query will give you back uh, for example the fetch function an is loading uh, boolean 
and other things you will see uh, soon i will show you that we will uh, how, how you can use this uh, in inside your components so the next step is uh, gener generate the reducer and and define our store i i put a store ts here and inside of it we we define our uh, redux store uh, for the type we can also use this api.reducer so we import our api here that is exported export it here this api yeah and uh, we define our reducer type here the root state so we will have the state and you know you can uh, create reducers manually with the usage of uh, uh, redux uh, uh, hooks or the old old, old method that uh, create your reducer and you can put your reducers inside inside of the store here but now we are generate we, we will generate our reducer automatically based on our api and this is just the type definition for our uh, state and here is the configure store so here we define our store and uh, we put our reducer automatically generated by this uh, package here uh, and you know our reducer path wa was uh, uh, reducer path was uh, slash api we set it here and we put the reducer inside of the store and we can use the api.reducer the other things are common in redux so i just skip them here we return our store we set up listeners dispatch and other things and uh, our store is ready and now we go to the index.tsx tsx <laughs> sorry and uh, here we have our redux provider coming from react redux yeah and uh, we put our store inside of this provider so we will be we will able to use our uh, hooks under the component tree and anywhere uh, that was created created by uh, the redux toolkit here so this is the index.js and the main thing is the app, J, uh, app uh, component so here we are we are able to use our hook so use get jog queries called here when we call this hook then the get endpoint automatically called so the request is starting here when we call this hook and we can uh, destructure the is loading for example so until our request is not ready we can show a loading indicator or or you can uh, conditionally render other things uh, then your uh, then your component and uh, when uh, the data is ready so the request ended we can get the data uh, here and we can uh, use the value from the data that we defined before in the test response so the other thing is that you can uh, you can destructure many other things from your uh, hook uh, response uh, uh, hook return value so you can uh, you can uh, destructure for example the refetch so if you would like to manually refetch the the data from the server and and, and start a, a new request then you can do that if you refetch if you use this refetch function and for example i i defined the uh, uh, function here 
named getJoke and inside of it I refetch the data from the server and when you're refetching the data you can you cannot use the is loading anymore so if you would like to show the loading indicator again then uh, you have to use the is fetching not the not the is loading so you can destructure it as well so in this little application that's all that i wanted to show you today so you can uh, try out this ap uh, application here if i click on the get another joke the request starting and finally we can get another joke and it's rendered here okay so thank you very much that's all for now today if you like this video please press the like button under my video it's very important to help me uh, thank you very much and uh, also please subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done it before and next time i will probably show you that how we can use a mock server inside our react application uh, i will show you some possible solutions and and thank you very much again and have a nice day bye